Malin Anderson has confessed she discovered she was being trolled by her childhood friend, as well as a neighbor, after hiring a private investigator. Currently pregnant with her second child, the former Love Island contestant, 29, tragically lost her first daughter Kinsey at four weeks old in 2019. The anonymous social media user had threatened to throw acid in her face and told her to turn off Kinsey's ventilator after she was born prematurely at 33 weeks. In an appearance on the Made by Mamas podcast, the influencer shared her shock at the finding, adding that she had still been in touch with her tormentors. She said, I found out a few people that were trolling me. One was actually like an old childhood friend that was really nice to me and still in my life. One was someone that lived down the road. A few from different points in my life, like years ago, but you know, I've never fallen out with anybody. It's interesting to see, because I kind of laughed and thought, S, you're still watching me? Malin previously told The Sun that she had been told to unplug her tubes already and contacted the police after being terrified to go home. A representative for Malin has been contacted for comment by mail online. It comes after the reality star shared her relief at making it to 34 weeks pregnant while remembering her late daughter. She announced she was expecting earlier this year with her boyfriend Jared, nearly three years after Kinsey died when she was just a few weeks old in January 2019. The TV personality took to Instagram to speak out on the difficulties and loneliness she's experienced during this pregnancy, writing, hit 34 weeks today. Made it through that milestone. Rip Little can see. She wrote, Today I reached a milestone. I hit 34 weeks. It's a weird sense of feeling in the safe zone now. This pregnancy certainly feels more real. I think subconsciously I was waiting for this day to make sure everything would be alright. And I've made it. That's not all I want to speak to you about though. I put some stories up earlier and I'm overwhelmed with how many of you relate. The isolating feeling of pregnancy. The loneliness that comes with it. I was once a social butterfly, hosting and throwing parties out and about at events and always up to something and inviting my friends to whatever it was. I would travel and bring friends with me. I never wanted to do stuff alone, I always wanted friends to experience these things with me. But it's funny how things change. The moment you become pregnant circumstances change which I get and then the bigger you get the slower you become. The more tired you are dot but that doesn't mean people not making an effort. Not even an effort to pop round to say hi for 5 minutes. My days are either filled with work, or nothing at all. There is no in between. I sleep, I eat and I wait for my other half to finish work. God without him I don't know where I'd be. He's been my rock. The point I'm getting at is. Pregnancy really does reveal true colors. True intentions. The minute you have nothing to offer someone, they simply have nothing to gain anymore. And for real it hurts, it's sad. I've had many of them in my life and I get it. And I guess this is the final clear out of people that don't belong. Energy and space needed for my little girl. It's just sad having to experience loneliness when this pregnancy has been tough on me and not joyful.
but that's life. Remember, people come and go and it leaves room for pure hearts. We shed off old energy, the past. And we welcome new. Even though it can suck to be and feel alone. Remember that once we get the peace that comes with it we learn that everything is connected and all we need is ourself. The path of love without being around like-minded people, becomes a solitary, lonely one on planet Earth. Remember there are people out there that love you. Malin's first child, Kinsey, was born seven weeks premature in December 2018 and was being treated at Great Ormond Street Hospital, but sadly passed away aged four weeks on January 22, 2019. The reality star revealed she was expecting a baby in August this year when she a snap of her baby bump, with her hands and her boyfriend Jared's hands resting on it. If you have been affected by the death of a baby please call Sands on 0808-164-3332 or email helpline at sands.org.uk.